Thanks for joining me. Here we are once again with some more of Sunhouse's Preaching the Blues, the 1930 version, moving forward with the vocal arrangement today. So uh, if you're just joining me for this song, please go to the description. I have a link to learning slide guitar if you've never played slide before, and also a link to the intro of this song. If you have not done the intro to this song, stop the video right here and go learn that because the majority of what we're going to talk about today will just be discussing how to put the intro uh, riffs into the vocal sections because it's essentially the intro over and over again. It's just the arrangement we'll talk about. And then there's the main thing we're going to get from today is a breakdown after the verse of went in my room and laid down to pray or knelt down to pray, something along those lines. There's a little... Uh, syncopated riff in there uh, that will break that down today uh, and there's two more of those that follow later on in the song too that we'll get those at another date uh, hopefully pretty soon so anyhow yes thanks for joining me um, I sure appreciate all the new subscribers and all the subscribers and the support I sure appreciate everything and, and glad you guys are finding all these helpful and enjoying watching these um, so Oh, and there's also a little correction from the intro that we're going to do today, too. So uh, I'll talk about that in a second. But let's get in tune. We're in open D. Uh, pretty easy to get to. The sixth string down to D. Fifth string stays the same. Fourth string stays D. Uh, G down to F sharp. A down, or the B down to A. And the E down to D. E, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Close to a full 40 tune or so, we should be in good shape. Um, so here's the rub on the vocal section. It's really quite simple because what he does in between the main riff for the you know when he's singing, he takes the intro licks and reverses them. So instead of doing this one first, he does this one first. So it's just the intro riffs reversed in between the vocal lines uh, for the first couple verses, at least the first verse for sure. Um, I, have, I haven't listened to it in a while, so um, anyhow, um, pretty simple, right? So, uh, but the correction I want to make is the very first lick that we did in the intro. In the first lesson, I showed you doing 12 fret three times, and then out. You're actually going to do 12 the 12th fret twice, and you're going to go out on the 10th fret. So it's really this. 12, 12, out on 10. Really subtle difference, uh, but I believe that is the correct uh, note in the recording, which brings me to my usual disclaimer. I don't claim this is 100% accurate to Sun House, um, but I think it is pretty close, and... Uh, if nothing else gets you really started digging into the song and you can follow your ear from, from what you learn here, you can make your own decisions. So that's that. Uh, so yeah, we're moving into the vocal section, right? So he, he plays this lick twice. Singing. Don't have to work, right? So it's like twice on the main riff, does the fill. Now, as he moves along in the song, every once in a while, he won't do both those licks. He'll just do this one. Right back into singing. You know, um, and one is I'll do like a prisoner, roll my time on out or something. But um, anyhow, um, either way, you can decide for yourself if you want to keep doing both fills or you could just do every other if you're not singing it. You know, just kind of arrange it how you feel it. Because I would imagine that's what Sunhouse is doing 
uh, at the time you recorded it. Uh, I don't think it's a prearranged arrangement. I could be wrong, uh, but to me it just seems like he's playing you know, the main riffs and fills how they feel and how he hears them to be at the time he's recording the song. So um, how you put it together is really up to you, but essentially, again, you have your main lick for the vocal. Fill lick one, fill lick two. Sing again, right? You can carry that on through, or you can do one fill or the other, right? But the main thing I want to talk about today is the syncopated riff that he does. The first time he does it is after the word, um, when in my room, I fell down to pray. Um, he changes the fill and syncopates to a whole, moves to a whole new rhythm and feel just for a second. So let's break that down today and I'll show you how you can kind of put it all together and uh, uh, come up with your own way of singing it or your own way of making it into a little instrumental. So that riff starts out exactly the same. So let's say we're singing, I went in my room. Starts off with that same lick. Okay, now here, it's a it's a chordal stamp going on here, like a just a chordal accent. I tend to feel it naturally to play the open chord, strumming up and brushing through with my middle finger or index finger. You could also do that same feel, uh, uh, same fill with a downstroke with your thumb off of the four string. So you could go, or either one, whatever you feels natural to you. Either way, when you come up to, you're going to slide that into the third fret. So I'm going to do it with the open finger because that's just naturally the way I feel it. Sliding into three, right? Open one, 12 twice. Open, you can strum with your finger or down with your thumb, into the third fret. And when you get there, you definitely want to do a chord stamp here, uh, or a chord accent here, with your thumb on the four string. Because normally we would go, and start over again, to the... This time we're not going to do that. We're ending in on three chord fill. Now we're going to start with this um, new. It's it's very similar to the to the fill lick that we've been doing to to start another or uh, a chord fill to start another fill lick. It's very similar to that, but I want you to be accurate here and do six strum up with your finger and end on four. So we got. Okay, so I'm going to sing and show you how and play it real slow. You can kind of hear how it fits in together. And if you can play with me, by all means, do that. Three, four. When in my room, I bow down to pray. I know it's tricky because it's. Starting a whole new rhythm, you know, which is, but it's so cool. Um, one more time. Three, four. I went in my room. I bowed down to pray. Okay. Now, then we're going to play the 12th fret on the first string. We're going to tail that out. And I want you to do another chord fill off the four string again and chop it real short. Okay? Same thing sliding into three. Chop it short again. So. Okay? Then you're going to end that phrase on the second string fifth fret. That is a unison with your open first string. I'm going to move on to and plus in 
intonation on this is not the best, but uh, it's supposed to be a unison. <laughs> so we get. Okay. Um, let's play it that far from the vocal line so you can get the feel of where it's changing rhythm, right? Changing feel. Three, four. I'm with you, my friend. you'll catch it every and as usual play everything slow don't try and, and 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 go through it too fast i mean sunhouse is cooking on this and you really got to learn these moves if you want to get it up to that speed so just try and play that tempo you know I'm in my room. By going to the third fret on the fourth string, and we're going to tag that open and start right back into so starts right back into that. So that's kind of like a uh, the end of the lick back into our the the vocal you know the part that he sings over. So let me see if I can play through that nice and slow for you. Three, four. When in my room, I bow down to pray. This is tricky. Uh, then there's two other breakdowns later on down the line that is very similar. So you got to get this one before you tackle the other two. And if you recognize this lick, it's similar. <laughs> it's kind of got that same Robert Johnson preaching the blues up jump the devil vibe, which I don't think I'll be doing a lesson on that anytime soon. <laughs> that is a absolute slide guitar masterpiece but anyhow uh that's discussion for a whole nother time <laughs> so one more time i'll try and go through it nice and slow three four i went in my room Next time it's just this little. right so I know that's not a big jump from doing the intro but it, it's it's getting you towards arranging the song okay so how do we put all this together if you're not gonna sing it I would suggest just playing the intro the way we did it you know times then you might vary the fill maybe just do this one. you know do the lick the main lick maybe three times every once in a while just kind of arrange your way through it if you're singing it you know uh my apologies on the vocal part i i can't sing it like sunhouse you know i just uh but what you can do is just kind of listen through and um Figure out between what verses, which fills he's doing. You can and try and do it close to his version. Um, but really, honestly, just feel your way through it if you're singing it and do what feels natural in between, you know. Um, but definitely get that breakdown riff at some point. It doesn't have to be after that particular verse, uh, but you definitely want to at some point, you know. <laughs> Right 
great background to uh, uh, the, the vocals and things. So anyhow, that's that's it. Uh, not, not that much new, just that main riff. And then there's two more uh, we'll discuss, discuss, discuss at another time. Uh, so hope you enjoyed that. Hope you found it helpful. As usual, please do subscribe. Do hit the thumbs up button uh, if you did like it. Um, and uh, share me with your pals. And if you have any questions, reach out here in the comments. Um, you can find some contact info too in the description. So you can holler at me there. As always, uh, uh, just a reminder, I do give online lessons via the webcam. Uh, unless you're in my area, uh, I can do them uh, in person as well. So anyhow, um, yeah, man. Take care of yourselves out there and uh, good picking to you. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much.